couldn't ride. She could uh, write. <laughs> she couldn't well, I ride. couldn't write either, but I, cu I could uh, write uh, better than I could write. I think. What took you from America to England to work for New Mexico? An aeroplane. <laughs> Other than the aeroplane. <laughs> um, he isn't well, is he? No, I moved from England because I... No, he isn't well. He's got uh, mental handicaps. But, um, I couldn't... Uh, I didn't like living in America, so I moved to England. Right. And then the journalist thing came along just as a was that accident. It wasn't. I didn't go there to write. In fact, I wasn't good at writing. It wasn't my something I wanted to pursue. I was just that a did plan by you though to get yourself into a musical area where you'd meet good bands and maybe end up no, in a band? Not really, because I didn't try to get a band together for quite a few years after I left America. Right. I just was leaving because I wanted to move. Get out, Pete. So. You were in a band here called the Bushwhackers. Yep. Now you went back to England and obviously the band gets together and the guys are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a lovely bloke. Right. Do, a, do on, come on, back on, with you on, at some time. On, right, so when you left the Bushwhackers, was there any uh, ill feeling there between you and the guys or uh, it was just the fact you wanted to go back and join a group in England? You mean animosity as it were? Yeah. Uh, no, I think they wished me every success. Now they hate my guts. No, but, uh, they, you went and saw them the other night. Yeah, why would anyone hate you? Because, uh, <laughs> she says that to all the bass players of yours. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. No, they were... Um, um, <laughs> I saw them, um, actually. I just caught the last 20 minutes of uh, one of their gigs. They'd just gone to Europe. Yeah. And uh, I managed to catch them at the old Manly Vale. You managed to get there. up off yeah. the floor and actually watch them. So how and did you, uh, when you got back there, how did you I just you wanted to say how good they were. Yeah, they were they, good. Oh, they were as well. Fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. So how did you guys, you all lived in the same area or something? You knew each other? Well, what, what brought the pretenders together this time? I met Chris, and I knew the other two guys from, we all come from the same hometown, a place called Hereford, mm -hmm. 150 miles out of tell. London. And, uh, yeah, you can tell we're all sort of, like, you know, that... They're sort of country bumpkins, Incestuous, really. uh, yeah. I don't know what you meant by that, but I didn't like it. With a minute, None maybe. of us like you in fact. <laughs> you guys are going to make this hard. I, I can just feel it coming on. What did you... Have, now, knowing well, Pete, and Pete had worked in me. Australia, what, did you, what was your idea of Australian bands? Did you think that they were very good before you came out this time? Do you think I, they're very good now? I yeah, haven't seen you? any. Touching, touching. You haven't yeah, seen any Australian bands? You haven't been out to see us? There's no, so, there's I don't so like many, to go out actually. to clubs or anything. I stay in my room and drink hot chocolate, watch listen, movies, listen if there's the any late movies on. There was an excellent one on last night, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you, you sort of came originally out of that, what was termed new wave area, and we won't hang that right on you now, but to come out of that area, did you find that a lot of your followers, after having a lot of success with the first album, would go, hey, all of a sudden they're successful, we don't want to know them. Was there any backlash there? They didn't want or to did they Not really, that? because we didn't have a... We didn't really have a, a following before we started recording. We recorded our first single, Stop Your Sobbing, before... Yeah. Uh, we'd actually even started doing gigs, so we didn't have, like, a, a following around town, you know, mm -hmm. who resented us getting some success because we weren't uh, a little cult band right. anymore. It didn't work like that. We ah. sort of had recorded some records before...